Russia accidentally shoots down their Su-34 bomber. A $36 million Russian Su-34 bomber was reportedly shot down by Russia's own forces over Ukraine's eastern Luhansk region. Ukrainian media outlets claimed on Monday the jet was reportedly downed near Anchevsk, a city in the Luhansk region, one of the areas where the war is currently focused. Anchevsk is currently under the occupation of Moscow-backed separatist forces. Ukrainian media outlets, including TSN, reported that a message had circulated on Telegram that the Su-34 jet had been accidentally shot down by Russia's own air defense. A Telegram user called Ruslan reportedly wrote, The jet is ours, unfortunately. Ukrainian news outlet Dialog.ua reported that Russian invaders from the air defense shot down their own plane, which was flying in the sky over Anchevsk, noting that the incident could have taken place on Sunday when Ukraine's armed forces launched a targeted attack on military depots in the occupied city. According to the Ukrainian news outlet Glavred, a video of the downed Su-34 aircraft was posted on local telegram channels, and Russian at first commented believing that a Ukrainian plane had been shot down. The video was then reportedly deleted after it became clear that it was a Russian bomber. Russian authorities haven't commented on the reports. Newsweek has been unable to independently verify the claims and has reached out to Russia's foreign ministry for comment. Russia's state-run media has said the Su-34 costs approximately $36 million per unit. The fighter jets and Russia's air force have largely underperformed throughout the war, which President Vladimir Putin launched on February 24th, according to Britain's defense ministry. In a separate incident in the Ukrainian city of Anchevsk last month, a video circulating on social media appeared to show the moment a Russian air defense system malfunctioned and the missile appeared to turn back towards the point where it was fired from. The missile appeared to change trajectory after launch and struck near the system itself. Local media outlets reported on June 24th the cause of the Baizor malfunction wasn't clear. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.